Oh, this is surprising. Is this the only time I've ever seen the train actually back up here? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Usually it's all done with those switcher locomotives. Oh, and I thought I missed something. That's pretty cool. Right by the Port de Montreal. And I'm wondering if these cars here are for the next CP train heading, uh, well, heading west. You know, nice and easy, eh? Am I gonna get to see locomotive or locomotives? That would be nice. Yeah, come on, don't be shy, don't be shy. Plenty of room. Did that guy to get off because he knows I'm filming or what? Oh, is he gonna couple those to those cars over there? Maybe not. Oh, he set off one car. Must be a problem with it, I guess. I was hoping to see the locomotives. Yeah, I still might see them. Whoa, look at that. Is that a hydro truck? Kind of like a hydro truck. Hmm. Okay. Lucky it's not raining too hard today. Oh, I jinxed it, now it's raining harder. Taking her time, eh? Oh, that's what I was afraid was gonna happen. Look, the switcher locum was right there. I'm able to see a big damn thing now, practically. Fail. Mm. Looks like it's for a grain train or maybe a potash, but probably grain. Look at that, wow! I've never seen that before, never! Never seen two Port of Montreal switchers going the same direction almost the same minutes apart. Wow, I mean, maybe there's a CP locomotive going on there, right? I don't know, maybe. Wow, that's amazing. Never seen that ever. That's some crazy action. I've never, I've never seen so much action here before, I think. Holy cow. Dang it. Wow, he was just filming some trains behind me. 
There he goes. There he goes. Could be a she. Yeah, it was kind of better without the fence, eh? Yeah, I never seen so much action here. Very impressed indeed. You know what, I'm almost wondering if these cars are being transferred to, uh, to CN. The train usually that comes from here that goes to uh, the uh, St. Charles area, Point St. Charles. Yeah, much respect of course to uh, like the gentleman you saw before there, the car man as he's known, the person putting together the trains, you know, literally lashing up the trains, uncoupling them and all that. That's dangerous work, man. No room for error in that. Well, I guess I was wrong, eh? Okay, am I gonna actually get to see an engine here, or no? That's the question, eh? Oh, oh, there's a CP engine, and there's old switchers. Oh, man. Oh man, am I glad I waited. I said myself, wait a little bit longer there. Not that it's freezing or anything, but you know, you get tired of standing around. It gets kind of a little dull, you know? There you go. There you have them. Right freaking there. How sweet is that? So what I'm wondering is that, are those engines the ones that are going to uh, the St. Luke yard or beyond? or? I guess so, because they've been using six axle locomotives for a few years now, but they used to use these guys, these old Jeevos. Rebuilt EMD, eh? Look at that, gonna be right in front of you. How do you like them apples? By the way, another thing too that's cool about filming trains in the winter, a lot of times locomotives are cleaner than the cars. Well, in this case, the CPU ones are good. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, don't stop! Oh shit, really? Damn, I was afraid of that. Crap. No way. Damn it! Son of a whore. Don't move up! Ah, you bastard. No! Shoot, now was at the overpass before. It's a very uncomfortable place to uh, be. Cars. Maybe a couple of them here? That would make sense. Wow. I don't think I've ever done, seen any CP engines doing shunting here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Right on. I 
what year these engines were built. I think 80s. Sweet. Never get tired of that song. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe it. I saw, what is there, like two or three? There was at least two of those Gen Set Port of Montreal switchers working. And now this. And I'm like, are they leasing them from uh, CP or are these guys just doing their own thing for their, I don't know, it's, it's interesting. Bad dang. Get ready for it, it's loud. Oh no, I actually did it smoothly. Man, before I didn't record it, but it was really loud. It was that I don't give a shit loud if it's loud for people who live whatever, you know. So anywho. I'm noticing those engines are not exactly the same. That one in the front looks like it could be older. <laughs> 